this video is brought to you by shells.com. More on them later. Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite creator who's just down to have a good time with some pop os gardener <laughs> uh, today i wanted to actually like talk about pop os i want to download uh the new version of pop os that just came out recently and i want to take a look at it in a virtual machine with you guys um this should be fun let's do this so we're going to download the regular version shouldn't take very long to download two gigabytes that ain't nothing <laughs> And yeah, I'm using Chromium right now because Firefox pissed me off and I'm over it right now. <laughs> um, so there's a bunch of new and cool stuff in Pop! OS uh, and we're gonna go over all of that really fast here. Let's pick this one. There we go. That'll be, that'll be fine for now. That'll be fine. Next, 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 next. Clean install next. Select that one. Do it. Gardener. That's fine. Choose an account password. You can't know this. Next. Um, don't encrypt. I know that's like one of the big selling points of Pop! OS, but yeah, it's a, it's a virtual machine. <laughs> That's a, that's a very nice little subtle animation. I like that. It's, like, it's just it's very soft and nice. I like it. It's cute. <laughs> little rocket ship. <laughs> okay, we're restarting the device here. And again, we're back to a small resolution, but that's all right. We'll change that in a second. All right, where is the display here? Boom. And let's just pick that one. Did not work. Let's pick this one. There we go. Um, so this is the new Cosmic uh, desktop experience. Um, it, it looks like it looks like Windows 11 aped a lot of Linux ideas. <laughs> uh, we have a central dock here um, that spans the entire system or the entire screen and um, we're good to go there oh you get to customize the dock so no dock uh, and it doesn't seem to bring up the dock or a central dock or a dock across the entire width um, I'm more partial to a central dock honestly Okay, show workspace buttons, show application button. Oh, whoa, workspaces, applications. Whoa, that's actually different. See, I'm not a workspace kind of guy. I, I have multiple monitors. I don't need multiple workspaces. So not a big fan of workspaces, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, but let's leave it the way it is, because this is how it, it seems to be intended to be used. Uh, open and switch applications from launcher. Uh, press super key or use an icon in the dock to display the launcher search field. Is that it? Oh, hey, look at that. Okay, so we only have one thing open, but that's fine. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and it has control one, control two, control three. Sweet. Gestures. I, I don't have a, uh, this is my desktop, so I don't really have a, uh, a trackpad, but that's really cool. I heard a lot, a lot about the gestures from some of my friends who work there. Um, no location services. Thank you. Time zone, let's say, um, New York. America. How about we just click? Yeah, there we go. Next. All right, we're gonna skip the accounts. We're gonna start using Pop! OS here, boys and girls. Um, let's check out the Pop! Shop. We got Adam from GitHub. We have VS Code from Microsoft. Uh, are these gonna be the the dev package? Okay, or the Flathub package? Okay, all right, all right, okay. You 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 might be winning me over here, uh, Pop! OS. 
Uh, we got Slack. This is probably, oh, it's also a dev package. Okay. See, I, I, for some things I prefer having like a flat pack, but, uh, you know, like for VS code or for like steam, I would rather have it be, uh, uh you know, a native application. And the fact that you get to choose, it's not like, you know, it's not like on Ubuntu where it's like, Hey boys and girls, how about you uh, take our snap and be happy about it? Okay, so uh, this is actually really cool. And the fact that they have like a bunch of like very popular applications highlighted here uh, makes me happy. Let's install VS Code. So if we were to then hit the, okay, so we have VS Code. See, that's a nice little, I mean, that's how I use um, GNOME 3 anyway, but it brings up the activities menu when you hit the super key. Ooh, virtual machine isn't liking uh, <laughs> Electron apps here. Choose the look you want. Dark mode is fine. Next. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, well, uh, get started with VS Code. Okay, rich support for all your like, browse languages. Um. Uh, IntelliFence, thank you. That's the, that's, if you're a PHP developer and you're not using IntelliFence, then you are doing yourself a disservice because IntelliFence is like the best. Okay, so this, this seems pretty, pretty normal. This seems pretty good. Um, open the command palette, yeah. Okay. Yeah, command palette's pretty nice. Um, Cool. All right, that works. I like that. Uh, let's try opening a couple different uh, applications, though. Let's do uh, Firefox, and let's do here. And if we say Firefox, boom. Hey, look at that. That's actually turn awesome. So if we say Terminal, boom. Hey, I like that. What happens if we do Terminal and then like Control Enter, or? Yeah, there should be like a hotkey to, to like open a new window, like shift or control enter or something. It would be really nice if you could say terminal and then control enter and it would create a new window for you. That would be really, really sick. But as it stands, I mean, you can just click new tab. That's fine. But yeah, that that's that's a pretty cool feature, though. I do like this. This is this makes things like. Question mark. Oh, hey, cool. Okay, so this works very much like the activity panel search does. So you can do like 124 times 16 equals. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's right. So, okay, so you prepend it with an e equality operator and then you can say 16 times uh, divided by three, it's gonna be 5.3 uh, divided by two is eight. That's really nice, actually, I'm, I'm quite digging this. Um, now this is called the cosmic uh, desktop uh, experience or something to that effect. What do they call it? Cosmic computer operating system, main interface components, which is a backronym if I've ever heard one. Uh, but I, I do I do like it. Cos Pop OS, it, System76 is great. Pop OS is pretty cool. I'm digging this so far. So yeah, I'm geeking out about this, but I wanted to give a shout out to shells.com. Shells is your virtual desktop in the cloud. Their service makes your cloud desktop just a click away through any web browser, mobile device, or desktop app. With Shells, you can easily set up your virtual desktop in less than five minutes. Seriously, no one can do it faster than Shells. They've worked closely with some of your favorite Linux distributions to deliver a seamless experience from any one of their 20 operating system offerings. In addition to Linux distros like Ubuntu, Manjaro, Mint, OpenSUSE, and MX Linux, just to name a few, they even offer Windows and Android images so developers can test and deploy all from one device. Shells offers transparent, affordable pricing with key features included, like automatic snapshot backups and the ability to put your machine in any one of six self-hosted data centers. Plus, you can upgrade at any time with just a few clicks to get more power in seconds. Support the show by using the link in the description to take advantage of this great service today. And thanks again to Shells for sponsoring this portion of the video.
So you can't do like Super 1 or Super 2 to launch from the dock, unfortunately. Um, oh, right. They have the tiling, the window tiling here. Yeah, this is a cool feature too. Uh, if you're if you're a GNOME fan and you like your, your windows to look pretty, but you also are a fan of tiling window managers, um, you can use the uh, the window tiling stuff from Pop! OS. This is really cool. This is just a GNOME extension you can install. Um, you don't have to have Pop! OS to use this. I've used it on Manjaro before, actually. Uh, and you can do like the super key plus arrows and you can switch between windows that way. Alt tab also works, which is really slick. So if we wanted to, we could hit control T to open a new tab and we could do like, you know, wikipedia.com. And there we go. Boom. And then we can, if we need to tab back into here, we could do, you know, uh, LS boom, you know, LS or LL, right? Boom. We got, we get the long form and then we could don't even have to touch the, the pad. We can do, uh, you know, we could hit this and then we could say, uh, calculator, uh, calculator. Boom. There it is calculator. And then if we do super shift, we can maximize or we can minimize or we can move it to different, uh, you know, workspaces. That's pretty slick. And then uh, let's see, can we re, how do we rearrange? So if I wanted to put this down here, I could drag it. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, look at that. That's really nice. We can close that window with super Q. Uh, we could say, uh, let's, let's open up another application. Let's open up uh, my calendar. Boom. And you know, we'll move this over here. There's gotta be a key command to do that. So this is a nice uh, little setup here. I, I quite dig this. Oh, hey, I, this also, uh, can we do like uh, display settings? Dude, that's awesome. If I hit uh, super Q, I could say uh, sound. That, that is an awesome feature. Oh man, that actually, Ooh, that gave me chills, guys. That is so cool. So we can say, uh, touchpad. Look at this. Boom. What if we do, uh, what if we don't close it and we just, uh, say, uh, uh, network? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Being able to use a GUI with just a keyboard like this is actually, like, super awesome to me. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm, geek I'm geeking out now. So, uh, okay, close that. What if we say like, look at that. You can actually Google stuff. Wow. Okay. I'm down with that. So, but can you do like DDG? System 76. <laughs> DDG, my guys. Yes. That is so cool. Ugh. DDG. Okay. I really like this. <laughs> okay, so now that we know we can like Google things, what if we do, what if we like uh, open up our terminal and we just say uh, echo test into um, test.txt. And then if we click here and we go Dot, uh, let's do test. Oh my goodness, my boys. Oh, that is, that, that's really, really awesome. So there's also some, uh, let's do, um, let's do OS upgrade. So this is one of the things about like stock GNOME that I don't quite understand. Um, See, I don't know why uh, the stock GNOME user interface doesn't have a panel like this in the settings panel. Like, why isn't there OS upgrade and stuff like that in the in the basic um, settings? And even like firmware. See, I'm already used to this. Like, I'm already used to using this because, like, honestly, I spend most of my day using VS Code or the open source project that it's derived from. And most of the time, I don't take my hands off my keyboard. I, I'm used to hitting, like, you know, Control P, uh, pulling up a, a, a file that I'm looking for, or like Control Shift P, executing some kind of uh, command. And so being able to do this at like a moment's notice, oh, oh. Oh, 
Oh, oh yeah. Now, some people are gonna be like, why are you geeking out about this? All these other desktop environments let you do that. You're just a nerd and you don't know what you're, you've never used anything like this before and, and it's cringy. But no, I've used a lot of other de uh, desktop environments. None of them fit my aesthetic needs, except for GNOME. I think GNOME is uh, probably the, the, the best uh, desktop environment that has ever been made, GNOME 3 specifically. And um, I, I think that the rest of them, uh, even including stuff like Mac OS, uh, have lost their way and they don't have, they, they don't prioritize the end user anymore. And so this, this pop OS, uh, this extension for pop OS or this like, you know, derivative of, of, uh, GNOME that pop OS has instituted here. This is amazing to me. I love this. This is like, um, Wow, I, I just can't, I can't even put into words. This is just amazing. Uh, I love it. Good job, System76. This is, this is truly awesome. And that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, dive into the new cosmic desktop uh, interface. Uh, thank you for uh, indulging my geekiness. I love UI, I love uh, novel interface paradigms. And this is just, <laughs> This sitting on top of GNOME is like, they know, they knew who they were building this for. This is really, really sweet. I want to give a special shout out to Catherine and Kay, my newest YouTube member and a super user member of that. Uh, thank you, Catherine and Kay. I really appreciate your support. And I'm sorry it took so long to get you on this list. <laughs> If you believe in the work that I do and you want to help support this show, become a member just like Catherine and Kay did, or head over to Patreon. It's all very much appreciated, and it all makes what I do here possible. So thanks. That's going to do it for now, though. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit uh, that subscribe button. Maybe even ring that notification bell if that's more your speed. Uh, but no matter what you do, thank you for being here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.